This is Sarah from Posh Pooch Designs and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this chunky dog snood and this pattern will work for any size dog. Is it Maximo a good little model? I'm going to go ahead and slide this off and let him go play because it's a warm day today and he won't need this. Now um, <clears throat> I'll put the link to the free pattern from my blog. I'll put that in the comments so you'll have that. And what you need for the pattern is an eye hook and then two colors of chunky weight number five yarn. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using uh, Michael's Charisma Deep Woods for the body and we're using the green for um, the bottom and the top trim. Okay, you, you also might need a tape measure if you need to measure your dog's neck. Three chains equal one inch. So we're going to be chaining 36 for a 12 inch neck for Maximo. Let me move the screen down so you can see my hands. There we go. And we're going to begin chaining 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, whoops, <laughs> fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I do suggest this initial chain that you chain a little looser than you normally stitch. One, two, <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. <laughs> I tried to go too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now, this is one of the questions I had the most on the blog pattern. On what you do, being very careful not to twist your chain, is to join to the first chain. Move that over slip stitch just like that and chain three one two three then you'll put one double crochet in each chain around you wanted to be careful not to twist that chain or you end up with a twist in your um, work now this is what you will get when you put one double crochet in each chain around for a 36 inch uh, neck. Now row two is a double crochet and a front post. So the way you'll do that is chain three counts as your first double crochet. We've already got our chain three on there. Now to front post you're going to chain over and the next double crochet you're going to put your hook through the whole stitch, the whole thing, and then double crochet. Then the next stitch, you'll do a regular double crochet. And I'll show you again. Yarn over. Put your hook through the whole double crochet from the previous row. Yarn over and pull three pull through you have three loops on the crochet hook and then you just stitch a double crochet and basically you're doing a double crochet over the front post stitch like it says and you can see you're going to get double crochet front post double crochet and it makes a nice stretchy band and when you do that all the way around this is what you'll get a nice stretchy band then you'll join with a slip stitch to that very top of the chain three that was our first double crochet. If you're keeping your same color, because some people like to make it all one color, go you can go ahead and do that, that fuzz ball. But um, I'm going to change colors to our camo. So what you do, pull your loop through, chain three, one, two, three. Then you put one double crochet in each stitch around and um, you you don't go around the front post you're on, you're only doing the front post on that previous row so you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch around like that 
here's your, your row with your front post, and then this is just a flat double crochet. Um, this uh, particular dog snoot, I had a lot of questions on it, and it's really just a tube. And then when we get ready to put the next band on, after we do the center portion, we do some decreasing, but it's just a really, really simple, quick pattern. And it's a perfect pattern for any size dog because you adjust the size around. And then once you've adjusted, you keep that around um, for the whole snood. Now, what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to do six rows of double crochet. And when you get around to the end of each row, you're going to slip stitch in the top of that chain three and then do another row. And what that will look like is this. You've got the beginning that we did with the front post double crochets, and then we did six rows. I'm going to turn it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six rows of double crochet. And if your dog has a longer neck, like a greyhound or something, you will want to make that longer. You know, if you made it bigger here and you're making it for like a, a, a golden retriever, you're definitely going to have to make more rows. So that's where it's a good idea to measure. Okay, so we've got our six rows on here. And now we're going to go back to the green because we need to do our decrease row. And um, we're going to be doing it on the same row as adding our bottom band. So we added our green and we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to one double crochet in each stitch, each of the next, this one is the next three stitches because the first uh, chain three counts as our first double crochet. So our, our chain three, oh my hook there, my chain three is my first double crochet, then we got one, two, three double crochets. Now we're going to do a decrease stitch, and what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, we're going to go in the next stitch, pull a loop through, next stitch, pull a loop through. You'll have four loops on your hook. Then you yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over and go through those two, and that makes a single crochet decrease. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to do four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to do a decrease. Go through that one, go through that one, four loops, go through the first three loops, go through the second three loops. One, two, three, four, and now we do another decrease. Now I have not added any buttons, ribbons, bows, flowers, any embellishment of any kind on these, and you certainly can. Now I always caution with using buttons with dogs because dogs like to chew and a lot of buttons are the exact size of their throats and will get caught in there. So um, make sure when you're using a button that it's on securely and maybe around the back where they're not going to try to chew that off. But you can add a butterfly. You can add any kind of embellishment. You can make smiley faces. You can make ribbons and bows. Make it girly. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two. Now, when you do with this, with 36 stitches, and you do those increases, you'll end up having, or decreases, excuse me, I said the wrong thing there. You will have three, um, six decreases on this row, and it will give you a total of 30 stitches in, okay, let me make sure I got this right for you. You'll, you'll have six decreases on this row, which will give you 30 stitches instead of 36 stitches. There we go. Okay, now we got back to the top. One, two, three, and there's no more to double crochet or in decrease. So we're going to join to the top of that chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to do exactly like we did up here. We're going to front post double crochet. 
and then double crochet in the next. Front post, double crochet, and double crochet in the next. And that's what gives us the band on the other side. Let me pull, go back to this other one that, we, that Maximo was wearing. Okay, I'm gonna push the screen back up because I think you can see it better. There we go, if I hold it up. Now, the top, this is where we started, and you see it's a little bit stretchy because you'll want to use, you know, if you're if you're a tight crocheter, you might want to go up a hook size so that this band's not tight. You want it stretchy on your dog. And so you, and then this is the top, and then you can see it goes down just a smidgen on this row because we did those decreases to make it a little smaller. And this is actually the head of it because you want it to be a little bit bigger when you slide it on. Sometimes I put it on his neck and let his ears out. Sometimes I tuck his ears in, depending on if we have wind. And that's our video for today. Please take a minute and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a whole lot more fun stuff to come. We're still learning a lot and doing a lot of videos. And um, I thank you for watching this video, and I hope this answered your questions about our chunky dog, Snood, for all size dogs. Thank you.